हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वीडियो सीरीज ऑन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स ऑफ मॉडर्न पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल लुक इनटू वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक कॉल्ड आर्क्स एंड क्वार्क्स सो इन अ नट शेल आर्क्स एंड क्वार्क्स आर नथिंग बट अ वे ऑफ एक्सेप्टिंग मल्टीपल आर्ग्यूमेंट्स विद इन द फंक्शन एंड द कंसेप्ट इट सेल्फ इज नॉट वेरी न्यू एंड आई एम डैम श्योर दैट ऑल ऑफ अस मस्ट हैव सीन दिस पर्टिकुलर कोड when we start learning programming we get into c coding still we are starting with c language and this is the code which we come across so you know this code is nothing but talks about that when you are calling your main function you can provide multiple arguments multiple string arguments and argc is nothing but count of number of variable arguments and argv is an array of arrays which is having that arguments okay so python args and quarks has nothing to do with c language uh, other than aig is actually common but the intention of showing you this is that you know what this gives you an idea why it is extremely important to come up with functions which can accept variable length of arguments and you know there are some situations like this where you actually need variable length argument because you do not know how many arguments are uh, caller of your function is going to provide now this is also the only place where you will see pointer like notation like star and star star in python it has nothing to do with the memory remember this okay now args means multiple arguments so if you are declaring a python function with this we will go ahead and explore the code but i am just willing to give you a basic understanding of this you can write a function with star args which means that you can receive multiple arguments in it and quarks are nothing but multiple keyword arguments which means that if you take the quarks you can get keyword based argument which is name value pair or key value pair okay so we are going to go ahead and see how it works let's jump into the code and see okay so we are here at our jupiter notebook and let's try to write a simple function right so let's say def function i am expecting a variable and i am just printing the variable right and i can call this function with let's say abc and abc will be printed now you know what i need multiple arguments first option is we can get a list right so instead of getting var as a single argument take var as a list so i'll say var underscore list and in here for item in var underscore list we can just go ahead and print that okay and in here we can pass a list saying that abc is the one element and say one two are another element oh i didn't change var to item over here and it will go ahead and print that so you know what if we include it as a list or tuple we are actually able to receive multiple arguments isn't it so why do we need args what if i try to give something like this more than one list and let's say 3 1 2 for example this will not work you know and this is the precise reason why we need args because we can provide not only multiple items multiple list combination of list dictionaries tuples etc so in here we will just change var list to star var list or we can say args so args is not a keyword you can have any name but it's a common practice to use args so again we will say args over here and if now we go ahead and call our function we can print two list we can even check the type of the input we can say print type of item we will get class list and 1 2 3 sorry abc 1 2 3 and 3 2 1 1 so far so good right this is why we use args now which means that i can actually give combination of things so for example my first argument could be 100 second could be tuple third could be list and you know fourth could be a dictionary so i'll say one let's say one for example 10 and i will get 
everything as a output okay now i hope you understood how args help this also means that i can call this function without any parameters okay so this will work but now you might be having a question that you know what i want to create a function which takes at least one parameter and rest could be variable in this case you need to define a function like function a first variable and then star args okay and first anyway you need to print because or treat it separately because it will not take it as part of args for rest of the items you can do this so if we go ahead and call function a with just let's say 10 you will get 10 and if i call ahead with 20 30 40 you will get that also now what if i am passing 20 30 40 over here and i want to create a let's say tuple with uh, 10 20 30 and pass it along with my a function right so instead of 20 30 40 i'll just pass the tuple it will say you have passed a tuple what if i want individual elements of a tuple to be actually treated as a single argument we can do this by calling this function and putting a star over here now you can see that each and every individual member of the tuple is a different argument in itself which means that this is okay for a list also okay and this also means that this is also okay for uh, our dictionary also okay so in dictionary anyway you have to take the value because it gives you key value pair so if you put a star every element will be treated as part of the tuple and that is where the functionality is extremely helpful how you are going to call this function you can treat complete tuple list or dictionary as a single argument or as a multiple set of arguments depending upon the need and this is awesome functionality now let's talk about quarks so quarks is nothing but keyword multiple arguments so let's create a function again func and i'll say quarks okay so in here what i will have to do is that for key value or name value pair in quarks items okay i'll say print let's say key is equal to key and print again value is equal to value this is my function now in the function i will call it as a key value pair which means that i'll say name equal to for example and profession equal to like this and you can see that the name is treated as key value is treated as value okay so basically it's a way of creating a function with a variable names right so you can provide different variable names to the multiple arguments so in args you can provide multiple arguments right but you cannot create a variable name name equal to value profession equal to this maybe age equal to this this is something you can do it in quarks one very interesting thing let me print the quarks you will see that quarks is nothing but a dictionary okay it is just a key value pair which also means that i can take this dictionary and pass uh, in the function and i can give star star it will be treated as quarks you know again name value pair key is equal to name uh, value is equal to my name key is equal to profession value is equal to software engineer right but if you do not do star star over here it will not be treated as quarks okay if you go give single star over here it will also give you an error so when you are actually either using key value pair name equal to this or your key is equal to value or if you have already created a dictionary you can pass the dictionary like this sorry like this or you can even say that you know 
variable equal to this dictionary and in here instead of passing the dictionary you can pass the variable the end result will be same okay now i hope you understood what quarks is now let's talk about combination of arcs and quarks yes you can do that combination of arcs and quarks so let's talk about it def function again star arcs star star quarks okay sorry now for arguments arcs let's use this for loop and for quarks let's use this for loop okay because we have already created in here so let's give some helper print saying that uh, arcs there is an indentation problem looks like yes in python you cannot work without indentation yes and in here again give a print over here saying that you know quarks now the good thing is that i can call this function without anything no argument no quarks and i can give it a arcs also let's say 10 20 30 and a list 10 20 all will be treated as arcs and if i want to give arcs plus quarks i can say 10 20 as argument name equal to and what is uh, type equal to let's say abc for example and these will be treated as quarks okay so as you have seen that you have given arcs only over here so in here you can only give quarks also so i can say func again let's give only quarks so the intelligence of identifying arcs or quarks is built into the python where it actually understands whether you are passing arcs, quarks or both. So now you can also pass star and star star within a function. So in here I can say if star in a list 10, 20, 30, these three will be arguments. And I can pass star star, let's say uh, 1 is 10, 2 is 20, a dictionary. So 10, 20, 30 will be treated as individual arguments and this will be treated as quarks. Okay, individual quarks, the key value pair. Okay, so this is what arcs and quarks does. Again, just to repeat, arcs and quarks are all intended for multiple arguments in a function. Arguments, arcs, star arcs can take multiple arguments, star quarks, k, k each keyword. So it is multiple keyword arguments which is multiple name value pairs you can use arcs and quarks in combination with each other but again i think i forgot to tell you one thing that if you are defining a function like this okay you have to provide a first function you cannot live without it if you do not provide it will give you an error okay so you have to be slightly careful about this okay so that's all about arcs and quarks and I will upload this particular Jupyter notebook in my GitHub page where you can refer it for future reference. So that's all for this particular video. I hope I was able to explain the idea and concept of arcs and quarks in the easiest possible way. Thanks a lot people. Thanks for watching. Till the next time we meet. Good day. Goodbye. Take care.